So, so for f plus g of x, x literally all, all you are going to do is add the two functions together. together. So I'm going to take the first one plus the second one, and then you're just going to do the like, like terms. terms. So it would be 3x squared. squared. And then, and then what, what did you guys get? get? 3x squared and then what? Good. Good. Minus 3x plus 12. 12. Easy, easy, easy. All right, for, for this, this one, one, you're going to subtract them. them. So you're going to take, take first function minus the second function. The only thing I'm going to caution you on is just be careful with the negative. You have to subtract the whole thing. So you have to distribute the negative. So it'll be minus x minus 5, and then I put the like terms together. So this will be 3x squared minus 5x plus two. Did that, Did that go, go okay, okay as well? well I'll kind of stand. All right. Do you have, have to do any work for g minus f, f then? No, no it's, it's going to be the same as f minus g, g except, except what? Yes. Yes. Flip all the signs. You're going to negate everything. everything. So it'll be negative three x squared plus five x minus two. So when you do the other way around, it's going to be this exact answer is everything opposite. All right, and f times g of x. So this is where you have all that distributing to do. We're going to multiply them together. So I'm going to distribute the x into there. That'll be 3x cubed minus 4x squared plus 7x. And then we're going to distribute the 5 to everything. So that would be 15x squared minus 20x plus 35. You can distribute everything to each other and you get a big long string of terms and then we're gonna combine the like terms together. So 3x cubed and then what? What did you guys get? Good, plus 11x squared, perfect. And then this would be minus 13x, awesome, plus 35. And, and then, then for the, the division, division, it's been the division. What, what number is going to go in, in the little box? box. Negative five. And, and then your countdown is three, negative four, seven. Bring, Bring down the three, we're going to multiply, add, multiply, add. add. So, so this will be negative 15. Add the, the column, you'll have negative 19. 19. When we multiply these, the negatives are going to cancel. I don't know 19 times 5 off the top of my head. You can work it out off to the side. 9 times 5 would be 45. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 4 is 9. So 95. Again, negatives cancel, so it would be positive. And then plus 7 would be 102. So put the x's back in. It will be 3x minus 19. Plus 102 over what? X, X plus, plus five. All right, so, so you did with the combined function. function. Add, subtract, multiply, multiply divide. divide. All right. Here, Here we're, we're going to find the domain of F plus G. So this is the one where you just combine the two together. So let's, let's write out what the domains, domains for each of these would be, and, and then, then you basically just mush them, them together. together. What would be, be the domain, domain for this one? one? Oh, oh really? It's, it's a, a parabola, parabola, so everything. All right, this, this graph moves right to so the domain, domain would be what? Yeah, yep. perfect. perfect. And with the bracket, bracket. good. Bracket, bracket two to infinity. infinity. So if, if you, you combine, combine this together, it's, it's just, just going to be the, the yeah, yeah, bracket two, two to infinity. infinity. This, this one's, one's all real, real. so you kind of get to ignore that. that. Like, that, that one's letting everybody into the party. party. There's, There's no restrictions. restrictions. All, right, All right, for, for this, this one, who is getting kicked out? Four, leave out four. four. And, then and then this, this one's, one's a line, line. so all reals. It's so like you can them together, together, you really don't, don't need this one because there's, there's no restriction on it. So your answer is just going to be to, to leave, leave, yeah, negative infinity, infinity for union, union, union for two, just leave, leave out. out. Now, the last one, they, they both have a restriction, so you're going to have to be a little, little bit more, more careful. careful. Who's, Who's getting, getting kicked out for the first one? one? 
get, get rid, rid of negative negatives. Negatives. This is awesome. Sounds like you guys have got this. Don't, don't forget, forget everything over the weekend. weekend. All right, right, this, this one, one moved what direction? What direction? All right, left 10, so it would be bracket, negative, negative 10 to infinity. infinity. Here, think about your line. You want negative 10 to infinity, but you also have to skip over negative 6 to so leave that out. So it will be bracket negative 10 to negative 6 union negative 6 to infinity. Again, you're just combining the two answers. Right. Again, again, we're just flipping the paper. paper. I'm going to assume that means that you're good. good. Again, just don't forget everything over the weekend, okay? All right, here we're going to do the composite function and plugging in the value. We start with the inside function. So we're going to do g of 0, and whatever we get, we're going to pass it along the function f. Again, it's really kind of level All right, so let's do g of 0. If you plug 0 into function g, what is the output? What do you get back out? Negative three good is what gets passed along. So we're gonna do f of negative three. Good, negative three cubed, we're gonna plug that in right here. That would be negative 27. Double that would be negative 54. Plus one would be negative 53. Now I kind of just talked you through that, but if you struggled any part of that, write it down. It's Two times negative 27 plus one. one. You, you can, can work, work it out off to the side if you need to. Like, don't be embarrassed about writing a side problem. Those are your thoughts. That's like your brain working. Okay. Which, Which function, function do we start with for this, this one? one? Good. Good. Function, function f, you're going to do f of two and then pass, pass it along. Right. So let's plug two into function f. Two cubed. Good. Eight. Two times two times two, so eight times two, 16 plus one, 17. So we're going to do G of 17. So when you plug 17 in here, a fourth of 17 would just be 17 fourths. Now we are going to have to combine those together. So we're going to have to get it a common denominator. So we're not done with the problem yet, but don't overthink that part. A fourth of 17 is 17 fourths. Now, now I'm, I'm going to erase, erase the three. I, I want, want it to be fours. So here's the million dollar question. question. Good, 12. Are, Are you guys there? there? Like, I, I always feel like, feel like that's going to be an issue. But 12, 12 divided, divided by, by four would be three. Or three, three times, times four is 12, however your brain wants to do that. Um, and then once, once you have the common denominator, you can put those together. So 17 fourths minus 12 fourths would be five fourths. So that's, that's your final answer. So you, so you gotta, gotta be able, able to negotiate fractions. Okay. Just, Just get, get a common denominator. denominator. And then and this, this one is f of f of one. This is where my like, like telephone analogy, analogy kind of breaks down, down because this is like, like you whispered the secret to yourself, yourself and still got it wrong. Like, like how, how that analogy works. Right, right, you're you're plugging plug into the same function. function. F, f of one, one cubed. One times two is two plus one is three. So f of three. Three cubed is 27. Double that is 54. Plus one is 55. Those are where you're really like actually doing math. math. Like you have to actually you know, evaluate this. And then here are all the domains and then the domains of the composite function. Remember, even if you struggle with getting the domain of the composite function, do you see how such a small part of the problem it is? Like, like, so, so even, even if you have, have trouble, trouble with that, that there's, there's plenty, plenty of other points for you to get. All right, what, what is going to be our domain for this one? one? Bracket, negative five to infinity, cool, and then this one, all oh, real. Actually, you know, let's, let's just go ahead and do the domains for all of them, because those, those won't be that hard to fill in. How about, about this one? one? Leave out two. And then, and then x, x plus eight is a line, line. so all. All right, x squared plus six, that's a parabola, so everything. 
And, and then, then this one went right, right nine. nine. So bracket nine to infinity. And, and then, then the last, last one, what do you think for this one? one? Leave out three. And then, and then absolute value, value. Yep. Everything. everything. So do you, you notice, notice how I made one or the other of them all reals? For all of them? Okay. All right, so let's, let's go back, back and do the composites, composites now. But like, like I was saying, like that should calm you down. down. Like, okay, we, we can, can get, get those answers. answers. That, that part's not, not that bad. So, so G gets plugged, plugged into F, and that's, that's what, what I did for all of these. They're all F of G. So we're going to take G, plug it into F over here. That's going to give us square root of x squared minus 3 plus 5. There's, There's only really one thing you can do to simplify the matter, which would be what? Yeah, yeah like, like adding, adding those together. So you have, have square root of x squared plus 2. All right, now, now the domain. Which, which one is the inside function? G. G. Does, Does G have a restriction? Fantastic. All right, that, that part's, part's good. Second, Second step. Does, Does F have a restriction? Hey, G of X, you better stay bigger than a negative five or else. No dessert. dessert. Okay. So you're going to take G of X, this function right here, X squared minus three, and say, all right, you have to be bigger than negative five, greater than or equal to negative five. And then you have to work that out and see where it takes you. What would, what would you, you do, do to start solving that? Yeah, yeah plus a three. So, so you, you would get x squared is greater than or equal to negative two. And then, then we kind of run into a roadblock there. Because you would want to square root, but you can't square root a negative. Here's the thing. If you square a number, it is always what? Positive. So that's positive. It's always going to be bigger than a negative two. Negative two. Can't yeah. cross you got, you got a statement that it's always true. true. So, so what's, what's your answer, answer going to be? If it's already in compliance, yeah, it's, it's all real. Again, my analogy, analogy for that is like, like your parents, parents come and run in your room, they're like, I, I told you to do your homework. And they're like, I already did it. Jesus, done. It's like, like it's already in compliance. compliance. So there's, there's no, no other restriction, restriction that you need to have. All right, right. S, S of G here, you're going to take the X plus eight, eight plug it in. Right, right there. there. So, so you, you have, have one, one over x plus eight minus two. And then similarly to number 10, the only thing you can do there is subtract the two. So it'll be one over x plus two. Okay. Which is the inside function? G. Does G have a restriction? No. No. Great. Does F have a restriction? Yes. yes. Hey, hey, G of X, you better not equal what? Two, two is a troublemaker. I'm going to see you right now with two. Okay. okay. You're going to take, take U of X, X plus A, and say, hey, hey you are not allowed, allowed to be two. And then you would solve that. To get, get X by itself, itself, what would you do? You're, you're minus, minus A, so, so X is not allowed to be negative six. six. So, so we are going to leave out. Negative six. If, if you, you don't want to do that work in this case, that's fine. How else could you get that answer without doing all of that? Yeah, yeah like, like just look at this and go, oh, leave out negative six. six. You see what I'm saying? But you, can you can just write, write the answer. answer. You don't have to show the work. I was, I was talking, talking you through it. But I'm fine. I'm all right. Again, again we're plugging in G into F. That's, that's going to give us. Square root of x minus 9 squared plus 6. In this case, you can cancel this because you're squaring the entire square root. So this cancel, you're going to have x minus 9 plus 6. And so that'll be x minus 3. So again, G is the inside function. Does G have a restriction? What does that mean? You keep it. Does F have a restriction? No. So this is just your answer. You just simply copy it. 
Yeah, that's the easier, easier version of events. Event. The inside, inside function, function has the problem. Or not, not problem, problem, but like, whoa. All right, and, and the last, last one. one. Take, Take the absolute, absolute value, value, plug it in, in over here. here. I, I could say, say this over and over and over for the entire rest, rest of the blog. Please don't let it be used. You, you can't combine this. One number is inside the absolute value, value and one is outside. Hands, hands off. off. We love no work. work. No work. work. Don't, Don't do anything. Does, Does G have, have a restriction? No. Does, Does F, F have, have a restriction? restriction? Yes. yes. Hey, G of X, you, you better, better not what? Equal three. three. You're going to take G of X, this absolute value, and say, hey. hey. You, you better, better not, not equal three, or else. else. Now, now, when you solve that, you're going to get, get x minus two can't be three, but, but you're, you're going to also get x minus two can't be what? Good. And an absolute value means a distance from zero. So it's like, yeah, I always teach algebra two, 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 so I just want to go back and cross through. You get zero. You want to be three units away. You can either get three or negative. You're going to get two answers. Four. So, so what's, what's the, the first, first one? one? X can't, can't be what? Five, five is good, and an X can't be negative one. So, so you're going to have to skip over negative one and then five. And then just, just humor, humor me for a second. Just, just humor, humor me. Watch, watch what happens if you plug those in. Just walk through this with me. me. If you try, try to do negative one, one. negative one minus two. two. Negative, negative three, three. absolutely value of negative three. Three, three minus three is zero the denominator. Now, now try five. five. Five minus two, three, absolutely value of that three. Minus three, that's one. That's why those numbers are always don't work. work. We all go to that. 